Hi, this is Frank Lemay, Orca Torch Ambassador, and I'm here to show you the, the new Mark II D950 video light from Orca Torch. It's in this case. So, when I open the box, the cord for the charger, the charger itself, the connection between the light and the charger, small wire, I'll come back to that later on. The connection to your camera housing and there's a filter holder to put on the light um, and then obviously the light itself quite a big light just, and just as a comparison this is the d910v the older uh, video light from orca torch uh, and you can see that it well basically triples its size but at the same time the d950v produces much more light than the d910v so let's take a bit closer look and put the D910V aside to the new dive light from Orca Torch video light, photography light, the D950V Mark II. And if we start looking at the back, you can see this is the connection for the external charger. There's a button below that, that's for putting the light on and off. And then there's a ring to the side of it, which you can turn to different positions to use different quantities of light, going from a quarter to full power, which the full power is 10,500 lumen. What you can also see at the back of the D950V is that there are four LEDs. At the moment only three of them are burning because I've been using the light with testing a little bit. So there's a little bit less power in the batteries at the moment. Um, and these will indicate, um, well, your battery level and what you can expect from the light. So if I switch the light on, and I'll turn the ring one step and you see the light switching on. Second level, third level, and the fourth level which is 10,500 lumens and I have to put it a little bit to the side because I'm blinded by the quantity of light. But this is the D950V switching it on and putting it on different levels and switching it off again. So there's a double safety basically you have to put it on if you turn the ring when it's off it won't do anything. That's a good idea. Now if you look at the front side, the light itself is a beautiful glass dome over here and you can turn the head off and then you could see two o-rings for the water tightness. And then inside you can see there's another connection so you can charge it externally on the back side without opening the light and you can open the light for charging and use the central charging point in the front uh, which is a good option so you always have two different options to charge the, uh, the light and we'll make a small comparison between the D950V Mark II the new light and the older D910V which I've used quite a lot in the water and which is a great light um, but if you compare the amount of light which is produced by the D910V um, you can already see that from the size of the um, LED for the D910V this one the LED is much smaller than for the D950V Mark II so obviously this light produces much more light and if I switch this one on, on high mode, if I switch on the D950V to the other side, you can see, well, on the lowest level, the D950V provides a little bit less light than the D910V on high mode. But if I turn that on in the second mode, you can see that it's already producing the same amount of light as the D910V. And again, if I switch that to full mode, you can see the big difference in light for the D950V here and the D910V. With which I'm not saying that the D910V is not a good light, because it is a good light. I've used it a lot and I will be using it a lot. But the amount of light produced by the D950V is, well, 
really, really exciting. And I'm looking forward to using that. And I'll be using that in the tropics in a few weeks time from now. So I'm quite curious to see how it will perform on the water. So for the evaluation dives with the D950V Mark II, I made two dives, uh, one very early morning dive we were going into the water at 6 o'clock in the morning to make a dive at the Liberty Rack, world famous rack here into London. And we went in that early just to ensure that there were no other divers there yet because during the day it is quite busy and for photography it's better if you have to see on your own so to say. Um, so in fact, uh, after about half an hour, the first two divers uh, appeared, but uh, okay, this dive was still okay for making photos and video, and some of them are shown during this uh, presentation. And I'm quite impressed about the D950V Mark II, uh, given the amount of light. I asked my dive guide to have one of the D910Vs in his hand. Uh, to give light close to him and then I used the D950V together with the other D910V for lighting him from my side and made a lot of overall wide-angle views uh, with that. Now the second dive was in a dive site called Coral Garden also here into London um, there's a lot of old Balinese statues underwater which is quite a nice scenery it reminds me of the uh, search for Atlantis uh, competition from Orca Torch every year. But that dive was around noon, so there was a lot of sunlight coming from above and the dive side is not very deep. So then there's the real competition about the sunlight coming from above and the light the D950V uh, provides uh, to the subject. Um, in addition to that, I used the D710V as well as one of the D910Vs to put them in some of the statues and give some light close to that statue uh, to give some special effects, uh, so to say. But in all, dives here are mostly micro dives, very small critters. So this is my main configuration with the D710V, the new D710V, and the D530V uh, with the snoot. Um, and as mentioned, I'm quite impressed about this whole setup in this way because it's light in the water, it's easy, it's movability is great. Um, and the D710V as well as the D530V provide uh, sufficient light. In all, given the amount of torches from Orca Torch which I brought with me for this trip, this is more or less a Orca Torch testing trip um, in addition to having nice dives and looking for the critters which can be found over here. Um, well, some of the pictures I took during the trip are shown through this presentation uh, and I hope you like them and uh, as mentioned, I'm quite happy with all the torches from Orca Torch. This was Frank Lamey, Orca Torch Ambassador from Bali to London, November 2023.